Are you sending off a first time middle schooler to class today? Well, it can be a hard transition for kids, but new this morning, we're going to look at how moving to a new grade and new school can be even harder for mom and dad. Does it fit? Jen Klausing's daughter, Jaden, just started middle school, and she can't forget how she felt when Jaden's sister, Macy, started there three years ago. It was like all of a sudden she, you know, looked older, was acting older, and all of a sudden had these bigger responsibilities all within, seriously, two weeks. And I remember just feeling completely overwhelmed. There was one stage where everything peaked, the bad things, the distress, and that was middle school. Professor Sunia Luther measured how moms feel and cope when their kids transition to middle school. They scored lower for life satisfaction and higher for stress, emptiness, guilt, and child negative behaviors than moms with kids of other ages. Luther says moms are unprepared for all the changes. Suddenly, this child morphs into this uh, weird person who looks at you with distance and sometimes even dislike and scorn. That's awfully hard. Dr. Luther also says moms need more support from family, friends, and support groups during and before those middle school years. Imagine what your kids need from you. That is what you need from other people. And that needs to be in place, and that needs to be respected, prioritized, and sustained. Jen joined <laughs> one of those online support groups and feels the pieces will fit together better the second time around. And if you are struggling with your child's transition and you're not comfortable going to a traditional support group, you can always, of course, rely on your friends. Talking out those concerns and feelings is really the best way to get rid of any stress and anxiety of your child getting order because then they go to high school and then they go to college and then they're <laughs> not that, home anymore. Is that what happens? <laughs> yeah.